Hey dads, are you looking for home energy saving products? I've got a box here from Amazon that I'm ready to unbox with you guys. I ordered some stuff. I know what I ordered, but I don't know what's in the box because I'm getting a few other orders. So I figured we'd open this up together and I can show you guys what I'm trying to do some, to save some money around my house. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like, use, and have and order on Amazon. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. All right, we got our trusty Gerber knife here. Cut this bad boy open. It's all, all the boxes are bad boys. Have y'all noticed that? <laughs> Every time I do an unboxing video, open this bad boy up. <laughs> all right, let's see. We got this open. Okay, so we have three things in here. Cool. All right, so. One thing, I had a home energy audit done on my house where they put the blower door on your door, a blower fan on your door, and then they test the pressure. And I, whenever we were going around the house after they had the door, the fan turned on, uh, at every outlet and wall switch and little, like little tiny things around the, the that are cut into the wall, uh, I, you could feel just like a little bit of air coming through there. So I kind of, the guy that I did my energy audit told me that they make insulators uh, for wall sockets in particular. And uh, so I found these made by Duck. I'll link it up down in the description below. I'll link up all the products in the box down in the description. But these are uh, Duck. They're made by the guys who make duct tape. And it's basically like a little foam uh, board. Now you could probably get like a piece of foam and an X-Acto knife and sit there and cut them out. But this was fairly inexpensive and just an easy way to get 24 coverings. So I thought that that was worth the money there if you want to try to seal your house a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to test these out. I'll do a full-on review of them to give you guys a better idea of how it would, the installation was. In fact, I may even install a few of these in a video. That might be kind of fun. But uh, it's supposed to make your house more energy efficient. So that's one product that we have in here. There's 16 outlets, 6 switch plate sealers, and two decorative GF or G or GFI sealers, the, the more uh, rectangular cutouts there. Um, so we'll do, we'll maybe we'll do a little uh, installation of that coming soon. So, oh, the next thing that I have, uh, I have a chimney in our house and the way that they cut the hole for the flue pipe out of, around the drywall, they didn't seal that up or anything. And so whenever I had the energy audit done, the guy told me, okay, this is what you need to do. Here's your flue pipe. Here's where your big hole is. You need to take a piece of galvanized steel and uh, make it to where it fits. You cut a hole in it so that it fits around the flue pipe and then uh, uh, use fire uh, caulk or fire mortar or something, you know, fire protectant goo, adhesive, whatever you want to call it, to, uh, to seal it all in. So I got this right here. This is uh, DAP. I, I didn't really care about what color it was because it's in my attic. But this apparently is black. And uh, it's a high heat mortar to, uh, to seal around things. So I'm gonna put this into my gun and uh, whenever I get that, I, I ordered actually one of the things I'm expecting that's not in this box is that piece of steel. Did you know you could buy like just, you know, thin pieces of metal on Amazon? <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna do that project. Uh, whenever I get all that kind of situated, maybe whenever I'm using the, the, this stuff on that, I'll do a review uh, or an installation, kind of show y'all how this was working for me and whatnot. So make sure to click that subscribe button. Um, but this should be uh, this should be good because that was one of the main concerns that whenever I had my energy audit, the auditor, uh, the biggest concern was that fireplace uh, opening because there was so much air coming through there. I was honestly amazed by it. Uh, last but not least, uh, we have whenever we went into the attic. Uh, in the house, the vents in the bathroom where they had hoses connected, but they just kind of like stopped in the middle of the attic. And the guy uh, told me that I need to vent these all the way outside because you're letting a whole bunch of moisture up into your attic and you don't want to have that much moisture into your attic. You want to bring it the, you want to bring that line out to your soffits or cut a hole on the side of the house to where you can uh, direct some of that uh, moisture outside. So I picked up one of these uh, hoses. It's a, this is the iPower uh, four inch. I'll link it up down below. It's eight feet of uh, air duct ventilation hoses. Oh, it comes with clamps. Awesome. So I plan on attaching this to the, the hose that's already there and then stretching this out 
uh, all the way out to the soffit because I didn't I didn't want to really create another hole in the house and uh, the soffits are already there so I can just all the way to the edge of the uh, of the attic so I think eight feet will get me there maybe we'll do a little installation video of this soon too that's it that's what's in the box that's how I am trying to save some money uh, by uh, sealing up my house a little bit better if you guys uh, like what we're doing here on Dad Reviews, make sure to click that subscribe button. I definitely appreciate that. You'll get all of our upcoming videos, uh, open up boxes. I do uh, reviews of all the different products that I do here in a more unedited, hopefully more authentic way. And hopefully you guys appreciate that. Uh, if you have a product that you want me to review or if you know a great way to insulate your house, let me know that down in the comments below. Uh, that way we can kind of come together as a community and figure out what are all those little things that we need to do to really seal up our house to save the most amount on our energy bill? Uh, if you guys have a product that you want us to review here on Dad Reviews, let me know what it is down in the comments below. I'll see if I can get it for you. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to put some more videos right there on the screen. I'd love it if you guys watched more of our videos. Always appreciate it when you guys watch to the end. That thumbs up is appreciated. Again, thank you all for watching and Dad out.